friends, welcome back to my channel, Amanda with Journaling and Grace. And as you can see, I have a Bible in front of you, friends. I love to do these Bible reviews and share the Word of God with you and tell you how to be faithful and dive into the Word. So this is one of my favorite things to do, and I love just telling you about opportunities that are out there and different ways that you can read the Bible. So we have today the One Year Bible, New Testament Illustrated Edition. Stay tuned. I've got this one and there may be two. So come back and join me and we'll dive in. So thanks so much for coming back. Um, like I said in my, my intro, I, I love, love sharing these videos with you and telling you and, and letting you know of different ways to read God's Word. I don't do these just for any self-promotion or whatever. I just, I like for you all to know what's available and, and an easy way to access God's Word and just study it because that is the point, right? We want you reading the Bible. We want, we want to be uh, learning and understanding God's Word. So, and Tyndale, um, with our New Living Tra Translation, it makes it so easy for you guys to do. So this is the One Year Bible, but this is the New Testament Illustrated Edition. This is a very soft cover. Has a little bit of toughness to it, but it, it, it is soft. Um, and you can see that. And then this is the, I think they call this the blue version. And then this, there is a floral version. So, you know, and as I was looking at these, um, I'm a very florally, you know, girly girl. And I was reading this, but I, I really am kind of partial to this one because this one kind of, you read it with the seasons. Um, so we'll kind of get to that just a second here, but you, you, every season has a, a, a kind of a theme. So, uh, for the year. So you've got winter, you've got spring. So those pictures kind of correlate with that. And that's kind of how I like the calendars on my wall. <laughs> I like for it to correlate with the, with the season that it is. Um, and just what your, what season that you're in. So we'll look at this one in just a second. Um, like I said, I think this one has uh, actually become my favorite. It looks a little bit more masculine. Um, so if you have a, a gentleman in your life that you want to gift a Bible to or uh, have them read with you uh, through the New Testament in one year, um, this is a, a great version for them. I actually just finished reading, again, the New Testament in 90 days. I didn't do it in a physical Bible. I kind of did it on a, a Bible app. But um, you, you just can't ever get enough of God's Word. So I like how this is kind of spread out in over a year and not just jam-packed into like three months. So, but I mean, even though it, it was, you know, it was great to be reading, I think spreading it out a little bit, um, you know, over 365 days, uh, there's less reading obviously in one day and, uh, you know, more that you can maybe pick up on and understand. So this is, this is great. So let's, let's open it up. And like I said, this is when you're reading, uh, in the New Testament. This, this is not a full Bible. There's no Psalms, Proverbs. It's just strictly the New Testament. So, um, we have our, I always forget what these pages are called. <laughs> Will you write your name? I don't know why I can't ever remember that. So I apologize. Greeting page or, uh, oh, it'll come to me. Um, and then this, the cover kind of expands like that, but then you have a little, uh, snippet right here of a Bible verse. This is Psalm 90. Uh, it says, before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from beginning to end, you are God. So this kind of folds um, like this. So if you are, while you're reading, if you want to tuck those pages under there so you don't lose your place. And you can also, it is a straight line and kind of looks like a bookmarker. So if you wanted to just cut that off, and actually use this actual piece of uh, kind of cardstock um, and use it as a, a marker in your Bible, you could do that as well. So, all right, let's open it up. So they are broken down into uh, like each month. So the month of January, you'll be reading Matthew. Month of February, it'll be Mark and so on and so on. And then back here, down here in December, 
uh, you'll be reading in Revelation. So, and this gives you the page numbers of where you can find each of these. So if say it's November, I don't know, 30th, um, and you're like, oh goodness, I've lost my page. You know, you can always come up here. And then it just kind of breaks it down like uh, the whole month, all the way through June, you're gonna be reading the Gospels and including Acts. And then it kind of breaks it down uh, first and second Corinthians in the month of August. September is full of Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians. Then October, you're going to be reading Colossians, Thessalonians, uh, T and Timothy, so, and Titus, and Philemon. Okay, so you can see how that just kind of breaks it down um, for you there. So, all right, so this is just an introduction of enriching your reading of the New Testament in a year. So it kind of gives you a guide on uh, to read prayerfully, read with awareness of both the whole and the parts, read important passages over and over again, read scripture out loud. Um, I'm one of those people that I like to have it read to me. I, I understand it better. And one of my, my, my go-to versions on the Version Bible app is the New Living Translation. It's the drama. Uh, drama featured uh, audio version um, it's my absolute favorite I've been listening to that one for years it's a gentleman who reads it but very animated um, you know there's a little bit of music that goes with it and, and I love it so when I read my actual Bible I like to have it accompanied with it being read to me so um, so that's another way and then obviously reading scripture out loud to yourself which is really, really good. And then this is also another good way to pray over your house, um, walk around the house praying, speaking it out loud. Um, not that necessarily that God has to hear you that way, but I, I, I just, it gives, there's a whole different feeling that goes along with that. So that's my two cents. <laughs> we have a publisher's note and you can see these illustrations. Oh, they're just so beautiful. So here we have January 1st. You're going to read the genealogy of Jesus, and we're just going to walk through the pictures a little bit, and I'll show you the season. So there's not any devotion; it's just mainly the illustrations and then the actual scripture. So I do, I do like that. So we'll go through January. February's getting a little bit greener with our pictures. I just, I love, I love it. I love it some birds down here now we're into March you can see how the color scheme is changing a little bit we're getting a little bit more uh, springier so to speak so there's March 1st here we are in April a bit more orange I just I, I love I love this illustration some more birds. April, we'll go to May. Uh, first May, they look like sunflowers, maybe, or daisies, or those dandelions. I don't know what they are, but they're flowers. They're very, very pretty. So we're starting to get a little bit of a lighter theme as we go through the year. Here's June. We have the ocean up against some rocks. So you can see how, how, when I was mentioning at the beginning, how much that I, I just loved how that kind of goes with the way you're reading for the year. So here we have July, lots of sunshine. Look at those lilac or lavenders, one of those, those fields. Very, very pretty. All right, here we have, oh, we're still in July. Just getting to be a little bit more water. <laughs> Ooh, look at that palm tree. If I could live at the beach, I would live at the beach. Some people like it, some people don't, but it, it's just something mesmerizing about the ocean sounds. So sometimes I'll even listen to some ocean sounds while I'm working at night or just to kind of go to sleep. So this led into August. I'm sorry, it was still thought it was July, but led into August. Now we're in September, getting a little bit of a harvest feel.
October. Ooh, love it. Now you don't actually have to start these Bibles at the beginning of the year. Um, even though they are one year Bibles, if you want to pick up right in the middle, um, whatever day you're on, um, you can just read to the end and then flip over and start to the beginning. So you don't ever necessarily have to start reading them on January 1st, but it is ideal. Then we're in October, very harvesty, November, and then we hit December with some snow. So you can see how the elements just really go along with the month. And then you have this on the back, uh, back here. So, um, so this is the, I think they call it the blue from what I've seen online, they call it the blue one. And then this one is the floral. So we'll go through this real quick. I don't want to keep you too long, but um, here we have two. The same, same, same style, same feel. Uh, of you could actually make that into a bookmarker. The grass withers and the flower spades. The word of God stands forever. So you can stick that in there to mark your place. I think it would actually work for the whole year if you're way here in the back um, and do it like that. So yeah, or you can just make it into a bookmarker. Cut that off and make it into a bookmarker. So, and this one is the floral edition. Same thing um, as the other Bible had. It's just a different, uh, different uh, decorations, illustrations. So this one is a little bit, you know, uh, feminine. But if you like flowers, you like flowers. So, and I do believe these just kind of go to with the other oh, all kind of. Just look through so here we have January February March and these pages let me look at a little bit different here these pages yeah so it's mainly just a white background for all of these from what I can tell and then the flowers are kind of on the side whereas with this one you have the whole background is the scene so, um, same thing with these. You can see that the, all the pages are, are colored, color coordinated with, with the backdrop that it's on. So you can see how this one, so. I think that's why I like it as well, too. We will put you over here. Okay. So just flipping through, you can see the different, it's more of a, a rustic floral. Look like watercolor color, uh, flowers. with some other graphics in there. Oh, that's all a purple page. Yeah, we've got a purple page here. So, and then just taking you back through the rest of the months. November with these florals. Actually, we got a little bit of a red flowers here in December. So that's kind of nice. And there you go. So, the patterns on here seem to be a little bit repetitive, so but I mean it's it's still uh, different flowers and gives you that that soft feel uh, for more of a, a feminine reading of the Bible, or should I say reading of the New Testament? So um, I will have everything in the description as usual of how you can get your hands on either one of these. I would love, love, love if you could tell me which one is your favorite and then, then if you decide to pick up one, uh, which one it would be. And if you have one that is your favorite that you've seen here, let me know why. Um, I told you that I, I love it because of the scenes kind of go with, with the, with the uh, seasons um, and then the time of the year. So anyway, all right. So thank you, Tyndall, as always, for allowing me to, to bring uh, your publications of God's Word to the people. And I uh, hope you uh, enjoy these. Thanks again so much for watching. God bless.